So welcome back to this final part of how to edit a Voxpop video in Adobe Premiere Pro. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to edit audio. It's probably the most important thing to think about when editing a video, and it's something that a lot of students overlook. Right. So in terms of audio, um, what I'm going to do at the moment, I'm still in my graphics tab because I was making these text graphics. So I'm going to move back to my editing tab. And um, let's have a listen to the audio at the moment. How we're actually going to listen to it with our ears, but also while we're listening, pay attention over here. This is our volume levels. Um, basically, if the volume ever hits zero, it's going to be peaking, and that uh, audio was going to sound distorted. What we're aiming for is our volume levels to kind of be around minus 12 to minus six. So at the moment, with that natural sound of the overlay, it's about minus 18. And then... it makes you feel alive. And it's a wonderful way to bring in the new year. When uh, the grabs start, it's going over minus 6. Um, I'm actually not too concerned that the audio there is so soft, because I'm going to have music in this as well. But I think her grab feel alive. might be a little too loud at the moment. Because it makes you feel alive. It's not too bad, but I might make it a little bit softer. So I'm going to zoom in to uh, the timeline, and the way we can alter audio levels is with this uh, white bar here. You can actually drag it up or down. Dragging it up is going to make the clip louder, and dragging it down is going to make the clip softer. So I'm going to just reduce her volume just the tiniest little bit. And it's a wonderful way to bring in the new year. Pretty happy with that. Best part of this Gonna make him a bit softer as well. Tradition is you cleanse off less. Okay, that's good. And then the final shot, again, quite soft, but I'm fine with that because there's gonna be music. All right. Um, if for some reason you need to increase or decrease uh, volume greater than what you're allowed to do with this um, white bar, because there are limits, um, what you need to do is right click on the clip and go to audio gain and then you can actually increase it or decrease it by as much as you want. Um, just be careful because it is very easy to um, make things distorted but yeah if you wanted to increase it by five decibels or decrease it by five, five decibels you can press minus five etc um, but probably the easiest way to do it is just with the white line there. All right um, next I'm pretty happy with the volume of all that audio. Now let's concentrate on the transitions between each clip to the next in terms of making sure there's no nasty surprises, there's no jarring effects when we go from one audio clip to the next. Just have a listen. Because it makes you feel alive. It's not too bad, um, but she does kind of jump in there in terms of her response because the audio is so different to what we have in the other clip. Um, a way to smooth that out is to meld these two audio tracks together just for like a second. And what that mix will do is just give us some smoother transition. The way to do that, it's actually really easy. Um, you go over here, click on the arrows, and go to the Effects tab. Now there's lots of different effects that live in Adobe Premiere Pro. As a, beginning, a beginner, you don't need to know any of them, um, except for in Audio Transitions, Crossfade, there's three different ones, and I like Constant Power. If you take Constant Power, move it in between the two different audio tracks, and now it should just smooth out that transition between our overlay to her voice. Because it makes you feel... It's so subtle, the difference. Because it makes you feel... But um, trust me, there is a difference, and it just sounds a little bit better. Um, what I often do is actually put that Constant Power crossfade in between all my audio clips just so it fades everything and mixes each little clip together and so it's just a lot smoother. So you get nice smooth audio transitions. Okay, uh, so once you've done that, then I am also going to add some music to this clip. Uh, the reason why is because I made this clip specifically because it's something you would see on like Twitter or uh, Facebook or something like that. Um, it's definitely not for television news. If it was television news, you wouldn't put music on it. All right, so I'll go back into my um, project. Uh, 
And under audio, I have a song here. Uh, this is a non-copyrighted song. It's very important that if you're going to start including music into your videos, that you include music that does not have copyright. Um, we'll explain how you can find such tracks in class. Right, so I moved the music clip down to audio two, that's A2. So we're starting to use two different audio tracks here, or A1 and A2. And because it's a music track, because it's an MP3, it's come up as green. Um, now, let's uh, play this from the start and see how it works with the overlay. I already think that music is a little too loud. I can see it up here really getting up there. So I'm going to drag that white bar down and just make it softer. Okay, I'm kind of happy with that volume, but it's definitely going to be lat too loud when she starts speaking. It makes you feel alive. I really don't want uh, any clash between the music and her voice. Her voice is far more important in terms of this story, in terms of co conveying information to the audience. So as soon as her voice starts, I want the sound of that music to go right down. Um, the problem is, if I drag that white bar where I want it, um, it'll be too uh, soft at the start of the clip. So what you need to do is zoom right into your audio levels here and on that white bar if you press and hold command and then left click you start to get these blue little dots um, and that allows you to get really really precise um, alterations to the volume of any audio clip and um, so what I'm going to do is create a fade down as she starts speaking using these blue dots so Let's just make the, the music softer as she speaks. Probably about that soft will sound good. I'll zoom out, let's have a listen. Because it makes you feel alive. And it's a wonderful way to bring in the new... Probably I want it even softer just in the fade down. Because it makes you feel alive. Good. And it's a wonderful way to bring in the new year. The best part of this tradition is you cleanse off less. Okay, and then um, when the next graphic comes in, I want that audio to fade back up. So again, I'll zoom in, hold command, left click, get some blue dots, and raise up the volume slowly after he sp finishes speaking. Press, right now. Right now. A little too loud. No. Right up. Okay, that'll do. Um, as you can see, that audio track goes on for far longer than I have vision for, so I'm going to reduce the length of that audio track. Um, I'm also going to put a fade down at the end, because nobody likes to hear a song just cut out, so let's fade down that song. Um, nobody likes to hear somebody going woo that just cuts off as well, so I'm going to fade down the natural sound of the camera tape as well. Sounds a bit better. Um, Alright, let's have a look at the final version. Because it makes you feel alive! And it's a wonderful way to bring in the new year! The best part of this tradition is you cleanse off last year and it's like a baptism, and you start the new year afresh. Right, Noel? Right now. And then you just make any uh, slight alterations that you need to. I think it's the music's a little loud at the end, so I'm going to make it slightly softer. And I also thought that this graphic um, was on screen for slightly too long, so I'll just make that slightly shorter. Um, 
Yeah, um, and then once you're happy with it, it's ready to export. In terms of exporting a video, um, I'm going to have a completely separate video on that process in Adobe Premiere Pro, so please check that out. But I hope uh, this collection of tutorials has been helpful for you and that you make some really cool Vox Pop videos. Good luck.